This baby is so cool that he attracts a demon wolf to be his harem member as soon as he was born. After turning into a sexy beautiful girl, the red demon wolf wants to have a baby with the baby first. Unfortunately, having a baby is what the baby can't do now, so the demon wolf remains by his side and becomes his slave. Why would a baby be treated so nicely? It should start from a man. The main character, Haruto, was originally a student who had been humiliated in school for a long time, so he stayed at home every day and dared not to go to school. One day, when he was checking his mobile phone at home, the phone screen glowed white, and when the light dissipated, he found himself dead and appeared in a strange space. Soon, a goddess showed up in front of him, telling him that after selection, he was chosen to be a candidate for reincarnation, and that she would then give him powerful superpowers and make him reincarnated in a magic world. Later, with a flash of light, Haruta wakes up and finds himself reincarnated as a child of the king in another world. The king is very happy to see his child born at first, but when he takes out the orb to test Haruto's magic level, he immediately becomes sad. According to the orb, Haruto's magic level is only 0-2 and he does not have any attributes, so he can only cast barrier magic. In this world, people who have higher magic level have higher status. The other princes have reached at least level 40 to 50, and Haruto, who only reaches level 2, is simply a shame for the royal family. So the king decides to abandon him. The result of Haruto's magic level is actually a misunderstanding. The goddess has given Haruto the magic level of 1002, but the orb is unable to observe more than two digits, so the king thinks Haruto is a loser, and in fact, he has super powerful strength. Haruto doesn't know he is powerful as well, and at this moment, he is already thrown by his father into a forest frequented by monsters. He heard them talking just now, and he still keeps the memories of his previous life, unwilling to die like this in another world. So he tries to cast the non-attribute barrier magic, only to find that it is very easy to cast this magic, which can turn into anything he thinks in his mind. Also, he can make himself float in the air by putting the barrier magic on himself, which surprises him. At this moment, a huge wolf monster sets its eyes on him. In a panic, Haruto casts barrier magic to attack. He first controls a nearby tree to smash into the wolf, but it fails to defeat it. After that, he digs out a stone as large as an island directly from the nearby ground and intends to smash it at the wolf. The wolf, named Flay, is frightened by Haruto's power and falls to the ground. As a baby, Haruto is unable to speak, but he suddenly thinks that he can use barrier magic to control his vocal cords to vibrate. After trying, he can really speak. Now Flay is even more shocked, sensing the powerful mana around Haruto. She misunderstands that Haruto is the reincarnation of the Demon Lord, so she quickly begs Haruto for mercy, and to her surprise, Haruto tells her that he will let her go as long as she doesn't attack him anymore. Flay can't help but lament that Haruto is in such a forgiving mood, so she decides to submit to him, willing to be his servant. At first, Haruto wants to refuse, but he suddenly falls to the ground weakly because he just excessively used his magic power. Hungry, Haruto asks Flay for food. The next moment, Flay turns into a beautiful girl, and she wants to feed him, but she knows that humans have breast milk only during pregnancy, so she proposes to have intimacy with Haruto. This frightens Haruto. Even if he can do that, he will die of hunger before Flay can produce breast milk, not to mention that he is incapable of having intimate interactions with her now. Suddenly, a muscular man arrives carrying a bag of breast milk. His name is Gold, and he's both a royal relative and a count in the country. Upon learning that the king has abandoned his child, he rushes to save Haruto. Flay is suspicious of Gold, thinking why humans would be so strange that one abandoned Haruto and now another one came to rescue him. Gold explains that he once had a child as well, but the child was unfortunately dead before he was born. Haruto was abandoned by the king because he isn't talented in magic, but Gold thinks it doesn't matter, believing every child should live well after birth no matter what. Hearing Gold's tragic experience, Flay is sympathetic to him, coupled with the fact that Haruto is indeed very hungry. She accepts Gold's help. After being saved by Gold, Haruto has become his child, and Flay, who has been following Haruto, has become his familiar. Soon, nine years have passed, and Haruto is ten years old now. He wants to go out and practice after being weaned, intending to explore this world, but Gold's family treats him so well, and he is embarrassed to leave. Under their care, Haruto has been growing up healthy. Interestingly, Gold's daughter, Charlotte, seems to be afraid of Haruto. She is willing to interact with others except for Haruto, who thinks it is the smell of a middle-aged man from his previous life on his body that causes his sister to hate him and feels very disappointed. 
As he grows older, Haruto wants to go out and explore the wonderful world, but he is afraid that the Gold family will be sad, so he casts barrier magic to create a person who looks exactly like him, and he intends to find an opportunity to sneak away with Flay. Just then, Gold finds Haruto. He knows Haruto has a low magic level, and in order for Haruto to survive in this world, he decides to teach him swordsmanship. Haruto is afraid of pain, so he puts a barrier on himself when training with Gold. What happens next surprises Gold. Haruto wields the sword so fast that even Gold, a master of swordsmanship, can't see it clearly, and he can even jump over 10 meters high. Shocked, Gold says that it is impossible for Haruto to do these if he doesn't reach level 30. Gold's words remind Haruto of an earlier incident. In fact, he also doubted his real strength before. In the years he lived in Gold's house, he made an orb that could observe the magic level of more than three digits, but it still showed that his magic level is 002. Thinking they said that the highest magic level in human history in this world is 77. He was disillusioned because he wouldn't have a magic level of four digits, but he possesses non-attribute magic, so he can cast magic more efficiently, and he guesses that this is the superpower that the goddess gave him. Gold cancels today's training and returns to the house looking very distressed. He voices his doubt to his wife that Haruto might be a demon. According to the secret information of the royal family, someone once had a baby with the demon race. In addition, Flay, who is a demon, has great respect for Haruto, who possesses terrifying strength and is probably not the king's child, but the demons. This incident must remain under wraps, otherwise, Haruto will be very dangerous. Anyway, Haruto is still their child, and Gold vows to keep him safe. Since Gold recently wants to train Haruto in swordsmanship, Haruto can't leave for the time being. On this day, when he is resting in bed, he hears a noise from outside and goes out to check, only to find many of Gold's soldiers have been seriously injured because they were frequently attacked by bandits. Gold blames himself for not taking good care of his soldiers. Seeing this, Haruto feels very uncomfortable. He is very concerned about his family's feelings, so he makes a decision in his heart and then secretly heals the soldiers on the spot with barrier magic, which is one of the functions of the barrier magic that he has developed over the years. In addition to healing wounds, barrier magic can also monitor an area. At night, Haruto casts barrier magic to observe the castle's surroundings, intending to help Gold defeat the bandits. Soon he discovers the stronghold of the bandits and takes Flay with him to go there. These bandits are just ordinary humans, and in the face of Haruto, who has powerful magic power, they are very weak, just like ants. Within seconds, Haruto subdues the bandits' leader. During the ensuing interrogation, Haruto learns a secret. The bandits are actually spies from the country next door, and they sent soldiers to work undercover in the border guards, so that they could easily defeat gold soldiers. Upon learning of this information, Haruto does not hesitate to ask Flay to cast fire magic to completely burn the stronghold. In Haruto's heart, his family is the most important, and whoever dares to hurt his family, he will definitely make them pay. Soon after, Haruto writes an anonymous letter telling Gold the truth about the bandit incident. When Gold hears that the enemy's stronghold has been burned down, he immediately asks Flay if she, who is skilled in fire magic, has done this, but Flay denies it. At this time, Charlotte seems to think of something. She finds Flay and asks a strange question. Are there two Haruto? It turns out that several nights ago, she saw two people who resemble Haruto and Flay flying out of the castle. But when she went to Haruto's room, she found him sleeping in bed. She couldn't feel the terrifying aura from the Haruto in bed, and she doesn't know what was going on. It turns out that Charlotte can always feel the powerful aura on Haruto, and that's why she dared not to approach him. This surprises Flay. She confesses to Charlotte that Haruto has possessed super powerful strength since he was a baby, and even she, a demon, is no match for him. However, she can't reveal Haruto's real identity to her, because knowing too much will prevent her from growing up. Failing to get the answer from Flay, Charlotte decides to investigate Haruto's true identity herself. From this day on, she starts to observe Haruto secretly every day, even when he is bathing. This makes Haruto very helpless. He has heard from Flay that Charlotte discovered the doppelganger he created. For the sake of himself, he makes a monitoring barrier to observe Charlotte's actions, as he doesn't want to expose his strength. At dinner that day, Haruto hears that his mother is going out with Charlotte to attend an event held for nobles in a nearby town. He thinks he can finally stay alone for a while, but when he rests in the room, the barrier used to monitor Charlotte sounds an alarm. In addition to monitoring, barrier magic can also raise alerts when the monitored one is in danger. At this time, a group of soldiers from the enemy country attacks Haruto's mother and Charlotte, trying to hurt them. Just as the mother and daughter are in despair, a voice suddenly sounds in Charlotte's ears and guides them to flee to the depths of the forest. What she doesn't know is that the voice is actually coming from Haruto through barrier magic. 
Under Haruto's guidance, they hide in a cave, afraid that the enemy will discover the cave. The mother goes out alone to lure the enemy away, but is surrounded by soldiers. She knows that if she is caught, she will suffer something worse than death, so she intends to end her life. At the critical moment, Haruto finally arrives to save her, but she passes out. Seeing his mother so desperate, Haruto is furious, bursting into terrifying power and completely killing the enemies. After calming down, Haruto carries his mother to the cave to find Charlotte, and just when he wants to secretly leave, he is discovered by Charlotte. Charlotte has always been able to feel the terrifying aura on Haruto, so she thinks he is frightening. But after today's incident, she is sure Haruto must be a good person. Haruto feels a bit troubled when his sister discovers his identity, and he can only make an agreement with Charlotte that his identity must not be revealed. At night, Gold is very happy that his wife and daughter successfully get rid of danger. Compared to this, what surprises Gold more is that Charlotte, who has always stayed away from Aruto, unexpectedly throws herself in his arms today, and the siblings become closer suddenly. Seeing this, the father and mother feel very happy, but Flay is a bit jealous. From this day on, Charlotte is very close to Haruto and will often come to his room to play with him. She discovers the monitoring barrier in Haruto's room, and Haruto falsely claims that it is ancient magic that he has recently been researching. Hearing that Haruto is interested in ancient magic, Charlotte tells him there are many books about ancient magic in the castle's library. Led by Charlotte, Haruto reads many books on ancient magic and feels very excited. According to the books, ancient magic is a kind of attributeless magic, which is very similar to the barrier magic he masters and magicians can turn it into modern magic by attaching attributes to it. Ancient magic can also create passages between different worlds. This reminds Haruto of his previous life, where he saw a similar plot in an anime. Charlotte curiously asks Haruto what anime is, and Haruto can only tell Charlotte the principles of animation. He thinks Charlotte isn't interested in esoteric knowledge, but Charlotte excitedly says that she also wants to watch anime. In order to fulfill Charlotte's request, Haruto, with the knowledge of the books on ancient magic, successfully uses barrier magic to connect to the Japanese anime channel in two weeks. Charlotte is immediately shocked when she sees the anime, but soon there is another problem. The anime characters speak Japanese, and Charlotte can't understand it. To help her understand it, Haruto starts to teach her Japanese. He thinks it would take her a long time to learn this, but it only takes her two weeks to master this language. Only then does Haruto realize Charlotte is a girl with great talent. From this day on, Charlotte comes to Haruto every day to watch the anime. In order to prevent Charlotte from becoming addicted to it, Haruto stipulates that Charlotte can only watch anime for three hours a day, much to Charlotte's disappointment. Soon after, Charlotte's father, Gold, hears that there have been many robbers in the neighborhood recently, and leads his subordinates to fight these enemies. Charlotte worries that her father will be in danger, thinking that Haruto is a companion in justice who saved her and her mother. She asks Haruto to help her father, just like the Cayman Rider she saw recently, in order to fulfill his sister's request. Plus Haruto also worries Gold's safety. He, at Charlotte's request, uses the barrier magic to put on a set of black armor and becomes a handsome black knight. At first, Charlotte also wants to help Gold, but is rejected by Haruto. Seeing Charlotte a bit unhappy, Haruto can only take out a screen, through which Charlotte can see Haruto's next moves. Later, with the monitoring magic nearby, Haruto finds the bandits who have been causing chaos recently, and he easily takes them all down. Just then, Gold happens to arrive. In order to conceal his identity, Haruto has to lie that everything he did is for justice, and he is the executive who guards justice. When he says these words, he feels very ashamed. If it weren't for his cute sister, he would have never said those childish words. Gold thinks that the man in front of him may be the one who saved his wife and daughter not long ago, but before he can express his gratitude, Haruto runs away after saying these shameful words. What devastates Haruto even more is that since Charlotte saw him fight handsomely, she has always wanted him to continue helping the innocent residents. In order not to disappoint his sister, Haruto has to take action frequently. After countless battles, Haruto has a title, the Black Knight, and he also becomes a hero in Charlotte's heart. But fighting every day makes Haruto very tired, so he creates a doppelganger for himself with the knowledge in the books on ancient magic, and this doppelganger can help him deal with more things. Interestingly, this doppelganger is soon discovered by Charlotte, but she has already seen him as a powerful hero for justice, so she quickly accepts the fact that Haruto can create doppelgangers. After he finally arranges everything, one day, two distinguished guests come to Gold's house, and they are the daughter and the son of the king. If Haruto were not abandoned by the king, these two people would have been his brother and his sister. The prince is very arrogant. When he hears Haruto can only reach level 2, he intends to humiliate him, offering a duel with him. Haruto checks the prince's level and finds he is now at level 9 and can reach level 40, which is thought to be excellent but is still a bit far away from the legendary hero. 
Haruto cannot refuse the prince's request and is forced to participate in the duel. He knows that there is a huge gap between the status of his and the prince's, so he puts a barrier on himself, intending to quickly end this boring duel by letting the prince beat him up. Unexpectedly, the prince becomes more and more excited during the fight, and even laughs at Haruto for not knowing how to counterattack. Hearing the prince say that he can resist, Haruto immediately gets excited. He immediately launches attacks, knocking out the prince in an instant. The prince feels incredulous, thinking it is an illusion and continuing his attacks. However, all of them are blocked by Haruto, who then easily defeats the prince. Unexpectedly, after the failure, the arrogant prince not only does not admit defeat, but also launches a magic attack shamelessly. He fires a fireball at Haruto, only to be easily blocked by him. The prince is completely enraged and intends to continue his attacks, but Haruto can't bear it anymore. He was already trying to be tolerant of the prince as much as possible, but he doesn't expect that the prince is still challenging his bottom line. He casts attributeless magic to replicate fire magic that is hundred times more powerful than the prince's. This makes the prince completely convinced, and he kneels down and admits defeat. Everyone present is shocked by Haruto's performance. The princess apologizes for the prince's impolite behavior, and she can tell that Haruto is not as simple as it seems. The prince and princess temporarily settle in Gold's castle. Haruto resumes his routine after receiving the two, and at Charlotte's request, he will often turn into the Black Knight to help the nearby residents. Besides, Flay also joins the righteous at Charlotte's request. She puts on a black leather jacket to disguise herself, believing that enemies should be eliminated completely. She will cast super powerful flame magic every time to kill the enemies, which makes Haruto very helpless. Charlotte can watch them from afar and he doesn't want his cute sister to see such terrifying scenes. He decides to cast barrier magic to protect this group of enemies so that things won't get out of hand. Now with Flace joining, although the battles become much more exciting, Haruto still feels troubled, but for his cute sister, he has no other choice but to continue this game of justice. Just like a mature brother, he has been always cared about Charlotte. Time passes by quickly. One day at night, Haruto hears that the prince invites Charlotte to visit a nearby farm tomorrow, which should be a social etiquette of the royal family. But thinking of last experience that Haruto's mother and Charlotte were attacked. For Charlotte's safety, Haruto takes a look at the route Charlotte will take tomorrow, and really finds a strange place, where a group of men in black are performing strange rituals. When he arrives, the men in black appear to be very panicked and attack Haruto. Realizing that they are no match for Haruto, they summon many skeleton knights through magic arrays. Haruto finds these skeleton knights are very special. After he defeats all of these skeleton knights, they can be resurrected. Luckily, he notices a glowing gem on their chest, and he guesses it is the skeleton knight's weak point. The next moment, the skeleton knights are controlled by Haruto and start to attack the man in black. The leader of the man in black doesn't know what happened, deciding to summon a secret weapon to deal with the mysterious Haruto. This secret weapon is a stone giant tens of meters high, but for the powerful Haruto, it just takes him a little more time to deal with it. It turns out that he has seen through this group of summoned creatures are controlled by the gems on their chests, so he casts the barrier magic to attack the gem, thus controlling these summoned monsters. Haruto grabs the leader of the men in black and forces him to reveal what they are doing here, seeing that the leader does not intend to say. Haruto digs a pit directly, intending to bury the leader's subordinates alive. This ruthless act frightens the leader, who hastens to confess that they are here to ambush Charlotte, who is traveling tomorrow, and that all this is actually ordered by the king's wife. She is actually Haruto's birth mother in this world. This reminds Haruto of his encounter when he first arrived in this world. The king and his wife ruthlessly threw him into the forest frequented by the monsters and left him with no choice but to wait for death, just because they thought he was a loser without talent. He has already had a grudge against his vicious parents, and now he doesn't expect that his mother is going to destroy his hard-won warm family. Haruto is furious. He asks the leader why the king's wife wants to do this. The leader tells Haruto that it is because Charlotte has great talent. This world is dominated by the strong, and the king's wife is afraid Charlotte will surpass her when she grows up, at which point the genius Charlotte, together with her court father, is likely to threaten the royal power. That's why the king's wife wants to kill Charlotte when she is a child. Haruto immediately thinks that the soldiers who assassinated Charlotte and her mother must have been ordered by the king's wife. He vows never to let anyone hurt his family, even his birth mother. After dealing with these men in black, Haruto follows Charlotte to the farm the next day. He then privately approaches Gold and asks him a question. If the king's wife wants to hurt Charlotte, what will you do? 
To Haruto's surprise, Gold is also aware of the king's wife's hostility toward Charlotte. He tells Haruto about the past. At that time, due to the king's weak abilities, the royal family's prestige began to decline. Until one day, a talented female knight appeared, and this female knight led the army to win in many battles that they were originally impossible to win. Later, the king married the female knight, and the royal family's prestige was restored to its peak again. This female knight is the current king's wife, and now she is becoming more and more ambitious, even than the king. Gold does not dare to resist easily because it will not only divide the country, but also put his family in danger. Haruto tells Gold that this will not have happened if Gold is the king. Gold knows he has no political talent, but he believes in Haruto, whose growth has been in his eyes. Haruto, though not against Gold's words, thinks to himself that what he is going to do is not to be the king, but to protect Charlotte until she becomes a good queen. He looks at the lovely Charlotte not far away, and he makes a decision that he is going to see the vicious mother personally. The scene then jumps to the king's wife. Her subordinate comes to tell her that the mission of killing Charlotte was sabotaged by a person named Black Knight. Hearing that the mission failed again, the king's wife is furious, believing that the Black Knight must have never faced death before, as he dares to sabotage her plan. Now that her subordinates are so unreliable, the king's wife decides to solve this problem personally. To her surprise, before she takes action, the Black Knight has broken into her palace. The king's wife's subordinates are easily defeated by Haruto, and now only the king's wife is left. She isn't panicked at all, as she is called the number one female warrior of the kingdom by the people of this world. She is not only proficient in swordsmanship, but also very good at all kinds of spells. Faced with the Black Knight who dares to hinder her plans, she does not hesitate to attack. She first casts a water spell to trap the Black Knight in a water ball, and when she sees him get out of it, she launches an attack with ice to frantically smash at the Black Knight. As soon as Haruto blocks the attack with the barrier magic, the King's wife launches another fire magic. She thinks that the Black Knight will be burned to ashes, but finds that he is unharmed under her full attack. This surprises her a little. However, what happens next surprises her more. Seeing that her spells could not cause damage to the Black Knight, the King's wife decides to use her most powerful sword skills to kill him. After a few rounds of confrontation, she finds that the Black Knight possesses overly terrifying strength, and her every attack will be blocked by him. Not surprisingly, Haruto defeats her, and now the king's wife is going to receive the punishment that she deserves. Haruto casts barrier magic to create a magic collar that is placed directly around the king's wife's neck. The king's wife tries hard to break free of this collar, which is simply a great insult to her. Haruto warns the king's wife that if she dares to forcibly remove it, her head will be cut off. The king's wife asks him what he wants. Haruto tells her that he does not care about her plots and does not want to know why she did all this. He demands that she never hurt any member of the Gold family from now on, and that if she cannot obtain his forgiveness, the collar will not be taken off for the rest of her life. If the king's wife dares to do something outrageous in the future, she will only face something terrifying in the end. After saying this, Haruto leaves, and the king's wife leaves tears of humiliation in place. In fact, Haruto does not feel comfortable after doing this to his biological mother, and if it were someone else, he might have killed her. After warning the king's wife, Haruto still does not put his guard down, ordering Flay to keep an eye on the enemy's movements at all times. Luckily, Haruto's plan works. In the past five years, the Gold family was not attacked again. On this day, Haruto is playing snow outside with Charlotte, who suddenly comes up with a strange idea. Since she has been watching Japanese anime over the years, she becomes a complete chinibio. When she is playing snow, she thinks of a fatal blow made of snow, but she can't achieve this on her own, so she asks Haruto to help. Haruto dotes on his sister so much that he agrees to the request. Under Charlotte's command, Haruto perfectly replicates Charlotte's imagined powerful skill. He causes a pit with one punch in a nearby ground, and speaks the shameful lines that Charlotte asked for. Charlotte hugs Haruto happily, and seeing Charlotte so happy, Haruto feels it is all worth it. Unfortunately, the gold couple happens to come looking for their children, and they also see a big hole in the ground. In order not to expose his strength, Haruto secretly casts magic to create a doppelganger of the Black Knight, falsely claiming that it is the Black Knight who happened to pass by and casually showed his most powerful skill. Gold doesn't pay much attention to it, and while playing with Charlotte, he and Haruto talk about the king's wife. It is said that the king's wife has never appeared in public in all these years, and there are rumors that she seems to have been put on a slave collar. Some people say that this is a unique fashion created by the king's wife, but as time goes by, many people speculate that the king's wife was put on a slave collar by others and could not take it off. 
In short, there are many rumors. The good news is that the king's wife has not interfered in the affairs of the empire since the news came out, and the Gold family is much safer. Haruto is also much relieved after listening to Gold's words, and he intends to go back to his room to enjoy the happy life of an otaku. But what Gold says next surprises him. When spring comes, you will go to the school in the royal capital. As I mentioned before, Haruto was always humiliated in school and chose to stay at home all the time. Later, he was dead and reincarnated into this world, so he has only fear when it comes to school. Haruto is reluctant to go to school at all, and seeing this, Gold patiently explains to him. It turns out that Gold doesn't want Haruto to lead him as well, and this time it was the king who asked Haruto to go to school. If Gold does not agree, it is a blatant disobedience to the king's orders. After investigation, Gold discovers the king gives this order because of the princess's recommendation. The princess is the one who witnessed the duel between the prince and Haruto. Gold guesses this princess wants to persuade Haruto to work for her after they become classmates, and she seems to be very interested in Haruto. As a father, Gold gives his advice. He knows that Haruto doesn't want to go to school, but, firstly, it is an order from the king, and secondly, he also wants Haruto to go out to see the world and not stay at home all the time. Unable to refuse his father's request and not wanting to go to school, Haruto comes up with a way to create a doppelganger to go to school for himself. Unfortunately, Haruto is so powerful that the doppelganger created by him possesses similar ideas as him, and he is also reluctant to go to school. Charlotte once told Haruto that the doppelganger would be very miserable if he was forced to do something he didn't want to do, so Haruto doesn't force his doppelganger to go to school, but lets him do something else. A few months before going to school in the royal capital, Haruto appears in a wooden house near the castle, which is a secret stronghold he has established over the years. He asks his doppelganger to stay in the castle on behalf of him, while he comes to this stronghold to enjoy the last few months of leisure. Soon after, Flay comes here with Charlotte, who is very clingy to her brother and comes here every day to watch her favorite cartoons. Charlotte complains to Haruto that the castle is too far away from here and that it takes them a lot of effort to come over. Actually, Haruto thinks of this for a long time, and he develops a teleportation spell during this time. As long as he opens two doors in different places, everything can be instantly teleported to the other side. But he has never tried this magic with living things, so he creates two portals between the castle and this stronghold, intending to test it with his doppelganger. Interestingly, this doppelganger has the same mind as Haruto, so he is unwilling to take risk. Seeing someone disobey her master's order, Flay is furious, so she directly enters the portal, grabs the doppelganger, and throws him into it. Noticing that nothing happens to both of them, Haruto feels relieved. From now on, Charlotte can come here through the portal. Now Haruto has one more thing to do, that is, to choose a servant who goes to school with him. That brings the end of this part. It is revealed from the current plots that Haruto must have realized he is very powerful in this world so he dares to challenge the king's wife, who is called the strongest female warrior. Even so, he is still reluctant to go to school, which indicates that the humiliation he suffered in school of his previous life indeed causes great impact on him. I hope he can overcome his fear in this new school and live a perfect new life. If you also like this anime, please like and subscribe. I'll recap the next part as soon as possible. Bye!